remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gumsel Yaibarom. Deputy CEO, uh, Director of Services, Honorable Councillors, uh, Commissioner Municipal Police, or the protocol duly and respectfully observed, our friends from the media. We uh, gathered here today to witness a presentation, a huge one for that matter, that is geared towards helping struggling families within the municipality. But I will not dwell further. For the sake of time, I want to call on the, but before calling on the director of services, let us pray in our individual ways. May Allah answer to our prayers. Without wasting much time, I want to call on the director of services to deliver a statement. Good morning, Mr. Chairperson, uh, Deputy Mayor of KMC. The Chief Executive Officer, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer, who just joined us today, uh, Police Commissioner, Director of Planning, uh, COVID Tax, Tax Force of KMC, Distinguished Personalities, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am deeply honored today to stand before this noble gathering uh, to give a welcoming remarks to our dignitaries, uh, to this very important luncheon of 10,000 uh, relief initiative by the council. Uh, since the onset of this COVID-19, the council have uh, tremendously uh, implemented a series of activities 
in order to fight against this uh, pandemic, which is COVID-19. Uh, we have our KMC um, uh, emergency plan, which has three main components. The first one is public education and awareness. Some of you might be aware that we have conducted a series of public education and awareness during uh, this past one month. And also we have the second component is the preventive aspect of it. Uh, we have installed more, almost about 500 wash hand stations within the municipality and we have uh, provided some uh, detergents and uh, other uh, materials in order to sustain those wash hand stations at a critical point. And also today uh, we are launching or uh, starting to implement uh, the third component which is um, economic or food burden relief. Uh, today you are witnessing we are going to launch this 10,000 initiative. Uh, this is uh, council, as a result of council cutting $1 million from its travel budget. And also uh, our partners, uh, private partners who have donated council towards the implementation of this component, the third component. Uh, uh, as you may be aware, we, uh, there are a series of economic burden, food burden. There are people that are seriously affected uh, by the lockdown, and then uh, we are trying to see that, that as a council, it is our obligation to provide services to our residents you know, within the municipality. That being the case, the general council and the management of the Carnegie Municipal Council find it necessary to start you know, mobilizing resources in order to implement the third component, which is uh, food relief. And today we are here witnessing that. Uh, this is going to be distributed uh, to the 19 wards that we have within the KMC. Uh, after the launching, uh, the councillors were tasked to come up with a list of households that are vulnerable, and then we are going to do the distribution at all the 19 wards, and then it's going to be uh, guided or, or supported by the KMC COVID Tax Force, who are going to support us. The community development personals or field officers on the ground will also be part of the process you know, in order to be able to make sure that the food items that we are going to distribute to the community uh, are given to the rightful people and so that they can better benefit from it. Before, on that note, I would like to uh, welcome all of you uh, to this launching. Thank you very much. Um, like he rightly mentioned, uh, Council has been in the forefront in the fight against COVID-19. And we have done a lot by deploying resources, but also received support from businesses and individuals. So we thought it prudent also to do our own quota, and that is why we are here. I now call on the CEO to deliver a statement, Ms. Senator Martin Sonko. Um, thank you very much, um, Director of Services, for that um, beautiful synopsis. Um, Chairperson of the occasion, um, Lord Mayor of KMC. Deputy Lord Mayor, um, Honorable Councillors, um, Deputy CEO, who is just joining us today, directors, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. As you are aware, since the outbreak of the coronavirus, better known as COVID-19, KMC has been in the forefront in the fight back against this deadly pandemic. As the fight back against COVID-19 intensifies, the WHO, through the government of the Gambia, recommended a number of safety measures, such as social distancing, frequent hand washing, partial or full lockdown, in order to contain the spread of the virus. In the Gambia, the Carnifig municipality is the most densely populated municipality with all classes of people and any lockdown measures will have some negative impact on some struggling families. Thus, warranting the intervention we are witnessing today. Today we are gathered here to witness the official launching of the 10,000 bags of 25 kilogram rice to vulnerable families within our municipality. The council, under the dynamic leadership of the Lord Mayor, 
decided to cut $1 million from our travel budget to support these vulnerable groups in these difficult times. The Carnifi Municipal Council has not forgotten and will not forget support received from individuals, businesses from Gambians and non-Gambians residents within our municipality since the outbreak of this mysterious virus. We will especially acknowledge the Indian community, Afrishel, the Salahule community, the Bankers Association, and the Jani, fam Jani family, who contributed immensely towards this initiative. On the same footing, we call on all Gambians and non-Gambians residents and non-residents of the municipality to join our efforts to fight COVID-19 and regain our lives, businesses, for our collective socio-economic advancement. I thank you all for your kind attention. Like she said, uh, KMZ has part away with a woven $1 million from our travel budget to be contributed towards uh, helping families. I think this is laudable, and we want to say gachengalama to you and the, the council. I now call on the deputy mayor to give a statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Um, Honorable Councillors, CEO, Deputy CEO, Management Staff, um, journalists here present, um, it's indeed a great honor and privilege um, to attend the launching of 10,000 bags of rice to be distributed within KMC on behalf of Lord Mayor. Whilst we are deeply aware of the pandemic coronavirus that had striken the world's attention, the Council is deeply and sorrow sorrowfully aware of the consequences with which it had befallen. Some lives were lost, some people currently quarantined, businesses and other commercial activities interrupted, schools closed, and many families undergoing hard times especially the vulnerable and less privileged families. These conditions and the state of affairs of the nation had arose so much concern in the attention of the council. We are therefore witnessing an occasion characterized by deep sense of mixed feelings and concern. Currently, the council has equally developed a plan to support the fight against COVID-19 the central part of this plan focuses on three major components, prevention, public education, awareness, and provision of relief items of relief items or support. Whilst we have gradually and systematically started the implementation of this plan scheme, we are happy to inform you that today we are launching the distribution of 10,000 bags of rice as part of our efforts to provide relief for the poor and the most vulnerable families within the municipality. The council is disturbed with great concern by the conditions of the poor families and daily commercial dwellers, the vast majority of whom live from hand to mouth. And the other sector of the economic economy, the halt of which resulted in the downscaling of employees. The Council understands the frustrations and the hardship that was created by the most undesirable circumstance to have ever hit the country recently. And it is in, it is in light of that, accompanied by our great senses of humanity and sympathy, that we are committed to do whatever we can to provide relief for the people within the municipality. Council caught $1 million from its travel budget. That is about 33% of our, uh, the travel budget. And received donations from more than uh, $1 million to, to buy these bags of rice. Whilst we are supporting progressive efforts in the fight against the virus, we equally seek the indulgence and compliance of the public to abide by the precautions issued by WHO. It's an 
undesirable moment that has created bitter history for the nation, but we are still determined and motivated by what we can do when we come together as a nation. A people united by a common objective in pursuit of a common goal, as council, we are not only inspired by our efforts, but the efforts of our citizens who are supporting the council of providing relief for the vulnerable families in and outside the municipality. Our collective sense of purpose as a nation in the fight against COVID-19 is found in our efforts of assisting the poor, the vulnerable, and the most affected people by the status quo. Together, we can win this fight and rise with even more vigor and resilience whilst determined to mitigate the setback it has created for the nation and her citizens. Um, as we previously embarked on stationing some WASAN facilities within our communities, uh, some of the feedbacks we have from people, um, as we know, uh, whenever you wash your hand, you are prepared for something. So um, the Sisi um, they are concerned that uh, after once they have washed their hands, they need something to eat. So on that um, on that spirit, um, council deem it necessary to at least um, provide about 4,000 bags of rice uh, for a start, uh, courtesy of. Um, some private sectors and individuals um, in order to come this far. Uh, we like to extend our sincere gratitude to all those who have contributed uh, individually and in their own small way um, is well appreciated. Um, finally, I would like to use this opportunity to thank individuals and private companies for their genuine support and appeal for more support to enable us to reach this target. Um, on that note, thank you all. And then I once again declare um, this relief um, aid launch. Thank you very much. for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three or four bedrooms or our story buildings three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, 
and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Alba, <laughs> 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 Ya lo buka ni lo kuola, abarakah. Ya lo dah cuci anolo, abarakah.